welcome back to a new video. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna. I talk about books on my channel and today's video is an exciting one because I'm sharing my summer TBR with you. This summer is going to be my last summer kind of, uh, as in I finish university soon and it's like that last summer where of course I have to look for a job and all that stuff but I want to focus on reading books this summer because it probably is the last time I will have so much free time to read like days with no plans I'm so going to miss that so I want to make the most of it by reading so I've made a list of a couple of books that I want to read and what I will do is when the summer's over in September or August I will come back to this video and I will tell you uh, update you on the books I read and what I thought of them. Uh, I did this last year as well and it's crazy to think that it's been a year because I've had this channel for a year or nearly a year and that's just crazy. So if you've watched my videos for a year then thank you. Um, okay let's talk about the books I want to read and I hope you can also find something new to read in this video. I, I cover some exciting books that I hope you may be inspired by. Uh, the first one is going to be the only physical book I have right now and it's Every Last Summer and I feel like I've talked about this book probably five times now on my channel so I kind of don't repeat what I've been saying lately because um, I've mentioned this book a lot but it's a book about summer and it's about two best friends who reunite. Uh, they used to be inseparable, they spent all their summers together, they grew apart and the main character comes back to town, it's a small town setting and they are forced to kind of rekindle their friendship and, and see if they can get back to good terms, be back on good terms. Um, so I really want to read this because for me summer books, where well, there's a small town setting, like a coastal town, it just automatically makes me think of summer. So I like to read books that have small town setting and I have really high expectations for this book. I know there's a book two that's already out. I don't have it. If I like this one enough then I think I will order the other one. But I'm so excited to read this and I'm this book came out last year but I'm gonna read it this year. The next book is Love and Other Words and this book I've seen a couple people say that it's basically the same thing as the book I just showed you. One, I don't know which book to read first. I may read this one because I have it with me. Uh, two, I may read them like a month apart or two months apart and see, like give it some time because I worry if I read um, both of them at the same time that my rating and my opinion of them will be different. Uh, so Love In Other Words is basically the same story. This story is about Macy who used to be close to Elliot and they've grown apart. Uh, I think the reason is because he confessed her love and suddenly they're brought back together and it's, to it's told between then and now so you find out like what happened that brought them apart and then in the present like with every summer after. And it's a story of overcoming the past and then their story of how they come to be together again and it it just sounds the same as this and I think it's also set in a small town it focuses on the summer because spend, it says spending weekends and lazy summers together. Summer. That is the definition of summer. The next book is When in Rome and this is a book that I wasn't going to read but I've changed my mind because it's set in Rome so I need the Italian summer vibes. And this book is also by the author of The Cheat Sheet and I absolutely loved that, that book and I said to myself I'm going to read all the books by this author therefore it kind of has to be on my TBR. It's a story about Amelia who is known as the princess of pop and she needs a, she needs a break from that life so she decides to go to Rome and that's where she meets Noah because she ends up staying like with her, her car breaks down and she ends up like staying outside of his door so he decides to help her and lets her use his spare room uh, in his flat. He gets to know her, she gets to know him, he shows her the small town vibes of Rome. She gets a glimpse of his life in Italy and Amelia can't resist falling for the cosy town and her grumpy tour guide. 
like that sounds perfect i don't know why i didn't want to read this book i think the cover was putting me off because i thought it was going to be something about food i don't know i should not judge a book by the cover i should know that by now but it sounds perfect it sounds like the perfect summer read and it makes me want to go to italy asap it would be wonderful to read this in italy i can only dream <laughs> the next book coincidence it's another book set in italy and it's the villa and i kind of talked about this book already not long ago in a video i uploaded quite recently i think i think was my five star predictions but this book is a mystery novel so we have our first mystery novel on this list and it's a story about a group of friends who decide to spend the summer in a villa in Italy. It's like an old gothic style villa. Somehow they uncover that it's connected to um, a very complicated history. I think they uncover that there was a murder that took place in this villa in the past because it's inspired by those kind of themes. And so it's a story of the summer, Italy, friendship group that has some tension and then there's this whole history of the villa and it's complicated history <laughs> so i love a good summer mystery novel and this sounds perfect like you're going on holiday to relax but all of a sudden you're in the middle of a mystery like maybe not something i'd like to experience but maybe something i'd like to experience vicariously through reading so i cannot wait and then we go from italy to greece that is my summer plan to travel through reading books so we're going to rome and then we're going to italy again and now we're going to greece so the next book is love and olives uh i was gonna say love and gelato i was supposed to reread that last year but i haven't got around to doing that i i reckon i i might at, at one point but i want to give love and olives a try. It's very very much similar to Love and Gelato but it's just set in Greece. It's about this main character who goes to stay with her father in Greece and of course there's some sort of mystery aspect that she has to figure things out. She spends her summer in Santorini with, with her father's family. That just sounds like Love and Gelato because she figures out that her father has invited her there for some sort of reason that she doesn't know. So I'm very excited to read this. Love and Gelato is so clear in my mind. I vividly remember the description of her father's place. I remember her running and that's how she met her love interest. That book, it's so vivid in my memory and i just i haven't watched the movie because i don't want to spoil the images i have in my head um i think i'll stick with the book that was the effect that was left on me from reading love and gelato i cannot wait for this love and olives the next book is good girl complex however i didn't realize this is uh by the author of the deal i think that's the series and i'm not interested in reading that series so there's a part of me that thinks what if i won't like this book because of the author because I worry that the writing will be just like, it'll be similar to the deal, that series. I'm not interested in that book, so I have added this to, to my TBR. I'm going to ignore any initial thoughts I may have. I'm gonna give this book a go, because the cover sounds, the cover looks promising, and the book also looks promising. And I think the second book or third is even coming out soon. And I didn't realize this was a series as well. So it's a story about Mackenzie. She's set out to be like perfect. She has demanding parents. She plans things out. The definition of perfect, as in she has to be perfect. Her parents decide to move to Avalon Bay. Um, she has no say in it, so she has to go. And it, there's a community made up of wealthy students, uh, wealthy students from a college. Here she meets a local bad boy which that sentence itself puts me off <laughs> i don't know why i i think this is going to be a good girl bad boy kind of story and i don't know if that's what i want to sign myself up for this summer anyway they become friends it's set in the summer and i that's what interests me the small town the moving to a beachy area that is what interests me so i hope that i will be pleasantly surprised with this book i think i'm excited to read it okay next book is kisses and croissants now we are moving to france so i'm, I'm really traveling everywhere this summer with my books that is the plan this is a ya novel about mia who has six weeks at an elite summer ballet program in paris the goal is to get an audition at one of the best ballet companies here comes the charming french boy louis who wants to be her tour guide discover the city together this is everything my ya heart loves and reading that i want to read this book asap right now like i want to read it right now and i this sounds like anna and french kiss 
which is another book I need to reread. Books along those themes are what I want. And this one's about ballet. I read a book, Time Pretty Things, uh, which was about ballet. And I really, really enjoyed it. It's it was so fun to read, so I'm I'm so excited for this and I just cannot wait. Like it makes me excited to read. Next book is something wilder. It has a long blurb. So the summary is it's a story about Lily, she has a strange type of job where she's, she uses hand-drawn maps to guide tourists on fake treasure hunts in Utah. And here she meets someone she used to love, his name's Leo. And so Leo goes there for a trip where she's working. There's this like legend of a hidden treasure and he's, I think, interested in un covering that treasure and basically they're forced to come together again forced to reunite it sounds adventurous so i am excited to read this because it's it seems like something different from the books i've just told you about like set in utah in the mountains finding treasure kind of not my thing but it's intriguing and i've added it to my list so we'll see what i think of it the next book is i would say we were liars but i really want to read the second book Therefore, I think I should read the first book, but I'm not officially going to say that I will because it just feels like I'm adding on books and like, Anna, stop. You're not going to have enough time to read all this. Or maybe I might. I might just spend three months reading. I feel pressured. <laughs> so We Were Liars, you probably know what this book is about. It's a mystery novel and the blurb doesn't really tell you much. It says, an accident, a secret, lies upon lies, true love, the truth, We Were Liars, is a modern suspense novel. If anyone asks you how it ends, just lie very telling. So I have vague memories of this book, therefore I want to reread it. And the second book came out this year, I believe, or last year, uh, Family of Liars, and I really want to read it. But in order for me to read it, I need to read the first one. I think this is another mystery novel that is being added onto this list that I want to read this summer. Another book is 28 Summers by the author, which I don't remember the name, but you can see it on the screen. Uh, in general, this author has a lot of summary books, so it was hard to pick just one. I've decided on this one. It's a story set over 28 summers, I believe. Flashback to the sweet summer of 1993, Mallory has inherited a beachfront cottage on Nantucket from her aunt, and she agrees to host her brother's bachelor party. Cooper's friend from college Jake attends and Jake and Mallory form a bond that will persevere until Mallory learns she's dying. Based on a classic film, same time next year, 28 Summers explores the agony and romance of a one weekend per year affair and the dramatic ways this relationship complicates and enriches their lives and the lives of the people they love. This is, I think, a time loop story because it tells you the 28 summers that they spent together. Kind of puts me off because I, I gen generally don't like those type of stories um uh, but i'm slowly changing my mind so i hope i will like this story it ha it definitely has summary vibes i i hope i picked the right book to read as in the first book to read by this author and i hope i won't be disappointed so i'm excited to find a new author that writes summary books that i can read next one is a ya novel and i'm so excited for this one it is Lola at last. It, this is a Pride and Prejudice inspired story. And I'm embarrassed to admit, I have not read that book yet. I'll watch the film. I'm making my way through the classics very, very, very slowly. And I, I have Persuasion. I don't have that one yet. So maybe I should read Pride and Prejudice first. I don't know, okay. But this is inspired by the story and it's a coming of age story. It's a story about Lola, whose, summer's, whose summer is not off to the best start. Things go wrong. She has some sort of uh, conflict with her sister, her social status, something happened there to <laughs> ruin her social status. And there was a summer party that I think she started a fire at the summer party. So the summer is not off to a good start. And she has a choice. She can either go to jail or spend the summer with the non-profit Hike Like a Girl. She chooses the second option, of course. And everyone expects her to fail because camping that's not her thing but she actually enjoys herself so I never got to go on any summer camps as a kid and I wish I did because there's just this part of me that likes to read books like this but that's a lie I did go on this trip once where to this island in England Isle of Wight and uh, it was a school trip so I just, I just think of that, but it wasn't exactly camping. We were sleeping in cabins, but it wasn't even for that long. But I enjoyed that trip, even though it was years ago. And I just, I, I really would like to go on something similar. 
I always thought of joining like the summer summer camp programs in America. I just, I don't think I'm brave enough because it's for such a long time. And now I don't even think I'm the appropriate age. <laughs> um, but it's something I, I wish I'd, I had done. Therefore, I think that's why I like to read these books, especially YA novels. So I am so excited to live vicariously through this character. And there is actually another book that is quite similar. Uh, starry eyes but i'm not going to add any more books to this apart from the next one because i know i this is enough you realize i don't really have like a big mystery thriller novel and that is also what i want to read this summer because last summer i read the house across the lake and that i just think of summer when i read that book when i read that book and when i think of that book so i need something new but i can't find anything summery inspired um so i'm I do, I do want to read The Silent Patient, but that is not like on my summer TBR, it's just a book I want to read. I was thinking of adding Rock, Paper, Scissors to this uh, TBR, but that is a wintry novel, so I don't want to read it in the summer. I'm looking for something summery. I don't know, I'm, I'm going to keep looking for a mystery book of the summer. Um, I do have a couple that I want to read in the next couple of months anyway, because like I said, it's the time where I have the most time to read these books. So I'm going to keep looking. Please let me know if you want to read any of these books, if you have found something new for yourself from watching this video or any of these books on your TBR and if you have any recommendations for me, especially with the mystery thriller novel for summer because um, I'm, I'm looking for something and maybe someone has some recommendations for me. Yeah, so thank you for watching this video. I will see you in my next video and I'll see you in an updated video at the end of the summer. That's it. See you in my next video.